Hello, this is James Shopling with Shoppers John Deere. These are the engine components for the 2022 Tech Challenge. Okay, our next component is actually used in many of our engines. It's called an air throttle. Okay, this regulates the amount of air that's allowed to go into the engine itself, into the intake system. The first statement is when the air throttle valve is closed, a negative pressure will not be noted in the intake manifold. That's false. If you your airflow is coming in this direction and it closes, it's going to cause an actual negative pressure of vacuum. The next statement, the air throttle is controlled by an engine control processor. That's true. A, uh, what we describe as ECU, engine control unit, actually regulates this air throttle, the butterfly on this throttle. The air throttle is normally open, is his next statement. That's true, it's spring-loaded. So at normally, normal operation, it's open. The next statement, the purpose of an air throttle is to close, to increase the exhaust temperature for DPF active regeneration. When you close this, then you're going to start having more fuel than air. So you're temperatures are going to increase for regeneration. The last statement, air throttle is volumetrically controlled by airflow. That's false. It's controlled by an ECU. You've got a servo in here and the ECU dictates the movement of that. And that is all on our air throttle. Okay, our next component is very common, especially on the older diesel engines, uh, this is actually described as a pencil injector for the simple reason it's somewhat the size of a number two pencil. But anyway, um, the first statement, if the compression spring D breaks, no fuel will be displaced to the cylinder. This is a compression spring. If that should break, what's going to happen is it's not going to apply enough pressure to keep that plunger seated and that's going to allow the plunger to float up allowing fuel to be discharged into the cylinder all the time so that's false next statement if a plunger I which that's the plunger is bound closed too much fuel will be displaced to the cylinder that also is false so if that plunger is stuck all the way down, down to the little orifices, then there will be no fuel discharged. The next statement, this fuel injector cannot be controlled electronically. That's true. This is just strictly a mechanical fuel injector. Next statement, if the fuel injector return line ruptures, the injector will fail to deliver the correct amount of fuel to the cylinder. That is inaccurate. The return actually coming through here, uh, through the top of that, the return will not influence anything within this chamber. So that's not going to affect the delivery of the fuel injector to the combustion chamber. Next statement. High pressure fuels displaced from the injection pump is sent to the injector and overcomes the spring pressure within the injector until this allows the plunger to move up discharging fuel. That's true. It's how that functions is it's going to build up pressure, build up pressure, and build up pressure until it overcomes that spring which allows the plunger to move up just for split second and then back down discharging the fuel out of the end of the nozzle. So that is true. That's all for our fuel injector. Okay, our next component is piston. 
and this piston it's suffered miserably but anyway um, the first statement this piston can be reused with no issues well not really a portion of the skirt is broken it does have a little bit of light signs of galding and yeah, so this piston is pretty well ruined so that's false damage to the piston skirt is going to influence longevity uh, definitely you see how the skirts broken on this side that uh, this piston will not function again if it does it will be for a very very brief amount of time next statement this piston is not reusable only due to weak rings that's false there again you've got broken skirt you've got light signs of golding and also it seems as though something has contacted the wrist pin boss the next statement the observable damage to the piston may cause may be caused by lack of lubrication it's possible that that was due to lack of lubrication however the connecting rod actually broke on this particular engine damage to the piston may cause total engine failure with continued operation that's definitely true because with that skirt gone you're going to have a lot of imbalance and it will cause the engine to fail and that is all for the piston <laughs>